insecurities and self-worth issues. Even the most secure or seemingly secure of people will battle with this from time to time. However, let's perhaps talk more directly to the people who are quite struggling with a lack of self-worth, a lack of value um, and, and insecurities. So let's assume, let's just assume you're a good looking person. Let's say you see yourself as good looking, okay? There's a danger in this. The danger for you, especially if you're actually feeling insecure and you do have a, a low sense of self-worth, that you will place all of your worth upon your looks. You will actually try and do more to heighten that. As a, as a general, what we do is we seek out what are our strengths and we generally try and make them even stronger as a better foundation. Sadly, we don't work upon our weaknesses. That would really help us out. So, if, for example, looks you see as your strength, you will tend to try and do your hair more, you will get smart clothes, you will really cash in on those looks. Now, the danger in that is, if, for whatever reason, you're having a bad day, you've got a big spot on your face, or someone says something to you about your looks, you're not, they're not particularly attracted to you, that is it. Your world is over because there's nothing else giving you a sense of self-worth. This is the problem we have when we cash in too much on one thing. If you're lacking in self-worth because of you think you're ugly. In a sense, you're doing the same in the opposite way. And let me tell you something else. If you think you're ugly and it's getting you down, we need to get you up because the minute you start smiling and beaming with confidence and energy, you're going to look so much more attractive anyway. Okay? Nobody should put too much on one element in their lives. Okay? If you're super intelligent, don't put all your ego and everything you have on that. Because the minute someone makes you look less intelligent, you're going to be smashed down to the floor with nowhere to go. What we have to do is recognise our strengths, recognise our weaknesses. Now the trouble is, people don't like confronting their weaknesses because they make you feel crap. Okay? It takes courage, it takes bravery. But, just like legs on a table, let's give you this analogy. If your looks or your finances or whatever that one thing is that you're so great about is like one leg on the table, the minute someone kicks that leg out, the table falls down. If you balance out your looks with your finances and your intelligence and your health and your body and your well-being, consider all the lovely things you do you're adding strength to the table. The minute someone comes and picks something about you, it doesn't matter because I've got more legs on the table. I'm strong, I'm solid. This is why if you've got self-worth issues, we've got to look at those other areas. You've got to confront those weaknesses. Say, you know, could I do with learning more? Don't just put it off, try and learn more. It might take you longer, you might be dyslexic, you might have this, you might have that, but there's ways. There's no excuse in this day and age, okay? If you ultimately, this is the thing, the reason I want to talk about this point is because people will see things, they will see people and they say, I want that, I want this. If you do not address underlying issues such as self-worth, you will get the money, you will get the life, but that lack eventually will bring you back down to where you believe you should be. So you must address these things. Do it for yourself and do it now.